Right, let's go for that walk, shall we? One of the things I like about the Burnaby is that it can be enjoyed simply by walking around, looking at houses from the footpaths. This is Burnaby Lodge, one of the more prominent homes on the Burnaby estate. It was built in 1895 and it shows many of the more important features of the domestic revival style. This magnificent house here is Burley Lodge, one of the most prominent and beautiful homes in the Burnaby. It was built in 1900 and it was built for Charles Morgan. The architect was Albert Murray and the builder was William Beckett, uncle of Sam. And you can see on this house the very, very high steep pitched roof and the mock Tudor woodwork on the gable. It is a classic quintessential Burnaby home. There are four protected structures in the Burnaby, two houses and two post boxes. What you see behind me is not a post box. It's in fact possibly the finest house in the Burnaby. One of the defining internal features of a great domestic revival house of the arts and crafts movement is the Ingle Nook fireplace and Moorlands contains a very fine example. Here you see it, the wood panelling, the use of brick, arts and crafts, natural materials. And of course, on a winter's evening, you can pop in here if there's a roaring log fire and sit very comfortably and very snug. And here, on this one, we have another lovely leaded light window looking from the ingle nook out onto the hall. It's a really beautiful feature. And so here we are at the end of our little walking tour of the Burnaby. I hope you enjoyed it, and some of the homes and the houses, the interesting people you've met along the way. Goodbye. <laughs>